Hello guys, welcome to another one of my pen spinning videos here. Um, I tried to make a setup here where it's possible to see my pen from the two different uh, like positions with my iPhone recording to the right. It's a bit buggy, it's a bit jittery, but I figured it's um, better than without it. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Just gonna go on face here really so that we can uh, look more at the actual pen so what I wanted to do in this video is first of all say thank you for uh, like the suggestions to my uh, my questions about pen spinning I did ask for something that I could do while I was walking around and that uh, was suggested like uh, the demon sonic I think it's called where you pretty much go behind these fingers and then make a twisted sonic and that was it was really hard to learn at first because I had like no strength in my little finger at all. But uh, once I um, once I practiced it for like a week, I was pretty much really able to go behind both uh, like like this, having it go from here. Let's see where I can find a good recording spot really uh, from here and then further behind these other two fingers here. So that was pretty pretty cool to walk around and practicing and uh, of course I also did manage to combine that with the Twisted Sonic um, and uh, that's that's super cool man. That was uh, really a cool suggestion that really also opened my eyes up for a lot of other things so I'm very happy about that. Uh, the first thing it opened up my eyes to was uh, like the index around that of course I can't make now that I'm trying to record it but um, that's and um, I probably practiced this like for a week uh, yeah and I'm just dropping it all the time which is typical but um, isn't it always like that when you're recording but um, so the thing that I decided for myself was that when I could do this 20 times in a row I would pretty much wrap it up there and um, that took about a week for me to be able to go 20 times without dropping it and as you can see right now I'm just dropping it all the time but um, that's just uh, really how fizzly I am also this underlayer here is adding a lot of uh, additional height to the underground making it that's uh, a different way than what I normally do it but anyway uh, so that's uh, that stuff I really got that practiced and uh, then I started working on the fingerless index around not really entirely 100% there yet but um, that led me to another thing that I really wanted to practice which is the twisted sonic around thing where you do the twisted sonic and then you do the index around and uh, that I mean combining those two didn't really take that long for me and now it's uh, that's the thing that I'm yeah recording fizzle that's the thing that I go do all the time um, so it's uh, it's just something I casually do now while I'm walking and I really I really enjoy doing that but it really uh, what that led to was that I noticed some people doing like multiple around where the pen spins several times around the finger, a multiple bust I think it's called, and I really wanted to learn that. So I've been practicing that and uh, getting nowhere. I've been checking out a lot of tutorials on it, and many of the tutorials are like, uh, you need to like have the feeling, or you need to learn these other crazy tricks first before you can really do it. Um, but what I was able to get bit by bit from these tutorials was that you need to be able to catch the pen in the other end after doing the index around. So where you actually spin it up here, once you catch it you need to push your hands down here again so that you can go over. So what I've been doing is practicing that really, going dropping it like this and trying to push up here so that I can flip it again. Um, and that has been really hard. I'm, <laughs> I'm just. Uh, I think I have done it like twice in a week. Um, I know it's a timing thing, about how you catch and how you move your hand, but most importantly, really, is that I'm not sure it's a viable way to train it. Uh, so I was pretty much uh, wanting to take this opportunity here to ask you guys, is there a better way to train this? Um, 
And I know it looks like I have like my twisted sonic uh, index around under no control right here, uh, but I promise you guys that is working out pretty nicely for me for like hours every day. So um, I also thought about just going like this and trying to just push right away there to get it because I'm assuming that the actual twisted sonic part of it is is really pointless in regards to doing the double what you really just this is me assuming that's why I'm I'm recording and asking that if you can do like this and catch it and you can just practice being able to go like index around more than once isn't that like the same motion that's uh, pretty much what I uh, that's how I'm thinking about it but I don't really know so uh, yeah please uh, guys if you have any like information about that I would really like to know because it looks so cool when people do it and it's one of those things that will I mean I really want to do it so of course just going to keep practicing as I've been doing so far and um, hoping that it works but it would be really cool if you guys could throw me a few pointers a few bones if there are different ways to do it that you think is uh, more efficient than what I'm doing so um, that's pretty much what I uh, wanted to do in this pen spinning video update here just a small update on what I've been spending my summer on. New question about something that I can't really do yet and I really hope to be able to so um, as always thank you very much for watching please do leave a comment send me a reference to something or if you have a good way of explaining it I would really really like to know it. I'm very happy about learning this stuff here and that was a very cool reference to the demonic sonic twisted thing. I'm not really sure what the name was yet of course I uh, I did read about it and watch all the videos I could find about it so um, I'm just not really sure if it's like the demonic sonic or whatever it's called. Um, so yeah that's pretty much it from here guys as always thank you very much for watching.